What's up, guys? Welcome to Top 5 Niches of the Week. This is episode 133. I hope you guys had a crazy Black Friday of sales. I made over $500 on Amazon merch alone. Uh, if you're not following me on Instagram, by the way, I do post daily sales updates, so check that out. I posted a midday sales update on Black Friday as well. Uh, but I hope, you know, everybody's sales should see a nice little bump from now through basically the end of December. When I say end of December, I really mean, you know, Christmas minus the days required to fulfill the orders. Anyways, in this episode, we are gearing up to make as much money as possible between now and then. So I got five new niches for you. Let's get right to it. Quick sales update. So over the last seven days, I did 502 sales on Amazon merch. 402 came from the US market and the other 100 came from international markets. Also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, like I said, there's a link in the description. I post daily sales updates. I also saw a big spike in sales on Amazon and Etsy. All right, niche number one this week. And this week, we are focusing not on Christmas niches. We are not going to go down the rabbit hole of the most obvious low-hanging fruits today. Today, I'm going to give you a little insights into how I am running my business. Granted, I'm in a higher tier. So if you're in tier 10, normally I gear these episodes for like low tier Amazon merch sellers today, I'm saying, hey, everybody else, this is where my mind is at. This is how I like to go about making sales in the fourth quarter. I want to do things that are related to people's interests. What are people interested in? Like, what do they actually do with their time? What are their hobbies? Okay. That's the niches. Those are the niches. That's the, that's the inspiration for today's niches. So niche number one is guitar. Okay, now guitar can be any other musical instrument, but the whole point of this is that, hey, people who play the guitar, I don't think anybody's forced to, all right? But I think people, it's something that they're interested in if they like doing it. It's not gonna be for everybody. So it's not broad, like, mass appeal, but that's perfectly okay. By the way, check out the BSRs on some of these guitar shirts. 22,000, 36,000, 40,000, 48,000, 60,000. A lot of interest in guitar shirts. Now, again, please think a little bit outside the box. When I say guitar... Also, do a little niche research on your own into other similar, you know, like I said, really interests in general. But hey, how about music, you know, and musical instruments? And then there's plenty of sub niches for each musical instrument. For instance, you don't have to just make generic guitar shirts. There's um, sub niches for sure. Like, you know, right here, you can never have too many guitars. That would be a perfect shirt that I would gift to my dad. You know, he loves guitars. He has a collection. He's not going to buy it for himself, but... This is the gift giving season. So think of shirts that people will gift to somebody else who's interested in niche X. Okay, niche X. In this case, the niche is uh, X is guitars. And also make sure your designs are good enough. If you don't know what good enough means, it means look at the research tool. In this case, flying research, which is on sale up to 40% off. If you use my code Ryan 40, I will link it in the description. That's the Black Friday Cyber Monday deal. I know a lot of you guys already have. Uh, 40% off is a great deal, so I would recommend locking that in if you haven't already. Uh, and it makes it makes niche research really easy. You know, you can sort by different marketplaces. By the way, I'm typically in the U.S. market. You can see things like BSR history as well. By the way, it's inverted, so the higher it goes, the more sales it is making. And by the way, this is not the full picture. There's also keywords down below. I just cropped it out. So that also helps if you want to run ads or if you just don't know what keywords to target in your title, your bullet points, uh, even your brand name. All right, niche number two, and this is, how about bourbon? How about alcoholic drinks in general? Um, Just don't check the youth checkbox. All right, we can't sell the alcohol shirts to kids, but we can sell them to adults all day. And who doesn't love a nice little glass of bourbon, um, you know, with your Thanksgiving dinner or your Christmas dinner, whatever it is. All right, there's a lot of different sub niches uh, that you can cross niche bourbon with. Also, my favorite design would be this one right here over my shoulder. Make a template. I don't know. Not everybody's like me, but for me, if I'm making a design manually, I'm thinking I want to make a template. A template means I can enter various niches with this one design starting point. So right here over my shoulder, it's that definition style design. All right. It's kind of reminds you of doing a Google search. You know, when you say Google a word plus the word definition. So bourbon definition. If you Google it, I'll bet you you see something just like what you see over my shoulder. All right. And um, I I mean, this is beautiful. And you can use that specific design template right here. Um, You're going to have to change the word at the top. You might have to change the graphic and the uh, definition, but 
you can still do that pretty easily with different niches. So I really like that design specifically out of all the ones over my shoulder. Check out the BSRs, 48,000, 80,000, 90,000, 95,000, uh, 300,000. So anything that's like related to people's interests, hobbies, etc., they're going to see a spike in sales this fourth quarter. Everything's going to see a spike in sales, but sometimes it's okay to zig while others zag. So if everybody's thinking, oh, I got to list the next uh, Christmas snowman shirt or something, it's like, okay, let them do that. And then you go do something else. All right, niche number three. Uh, before we get there, quick plug for my free print on demand mini course. It's linked in the description. All I need is your email address. I'll send you one lesson a day for eight days. So take advantage of that. And I've got a great print on demand Facebook group that you can join. The link is right there in the description. So check that out. Niche number three, how about some Bigfoot? How about some paranormal? How about aliens? How about, um, I saw like, there's like a Mothman shirt on Amazon merch. And you know, if you listen to those paranormal podcasts that I've plugged on my channel that I, I find interesting every now and then, um, to get your mind off the craziness of the real world, <laughs> right? Like Mothman shirts sell well, Bigfoot shirts, Loch Ness Monster. Uh, my first shirt ever sold on Amazon merch, uh, was a Loch Ness Monster shirt. All right. That way back in 2017. So you guys want to know my first shirt ever. That was my first shirt ever. Um, just anything that people find entertaining, all right, find interesting. Again, this is right along those lines and check out BSRs, 15,000, 33,000, 49,000, 62,000, 62, 65, 74, 88, 89, 100. There's a lot of interest in Bigfoot shirts, guys. I mean, dare I say this might be the, <laughs> like in terms of just BSR, this might be the most interest that we've seen, um, through the first three niches. So anything that's going to inspire people to laugh, to smile, to say, hey, I'm gonna wear this shirt because this is something I have genuine curiosity in. You know what I mean? Think along those lines. Niche number four today is gonna be hockey, all right? Oh, sports, sports in general. Okay, be careful with the soccer shirts right now while the World Cup is on. There's gonna be extra eyeballs on soccer shirts, but how about hockey? Um, there's a you know decent number of hockey shirts that sell pretty well on Amazon merch. And by the way, they don't all need to be best sellers with the potential to make you rich if you get the organic rank one shirt. They don't all need to be that way. Sometimes you just make a shirt that sells once a month, all right? For me, in tier 200,000, I always like to remind you guys, if I post 200,000 shirts and they only make, only make one sale a year, but they make me $5 profit each sale. Guess how much money that is in a year? That's a million dollars, all right? 200,000 times five, it's a million bucks. So remember, perspective. Stop. Sometimes it's just like, stop, sit back, do some math in your head and think like, okay, wait, I don't actually need every shirt to be like the number one best-selling shirt that's gonna make me rich. Sometimes you just make a decent shirt, use a template, make your life easy, if you don't have time, I mean, if you have time, do whatever you want. But if you don't have time, like, you know, it's okay to make a templated approach. Like, look at the American flag vertical. We already know that sells all day. Look at the one next to that to the left. The half, you know, graphic, half text. Again, easy, right? These are all like popular design styles that sell year after year after year. So just take note. BSRs, 27,000, 29,000, 80,000, 110,000. All right, niche number five here. Oh, by the way, hockey is a winter sport as we get into winter. So also um, just worth pointing that out. Niche number five, and this is, how about frogs? How about animals? Okay, frogs specifically seem to do really well. You got um, BSRs of 30,000, 40,000, 50, 170, 170, 180, 220. Lots of sub-niche potential, lots of graphics. By the way, Vexels is also running a big Black Friday sale, 55% off. I know firsthand that Vexels has a ton of, of this like cottage core, I think is what it's called, cottage core style designs like this one right here that I'm trying to point to in the number three spot on the bottom, also the number one spot on the bottom, um, also the number one spot on the top, like that cottage core style design. They have a team of professional designers that are constantly making new graphics for you to use. You can sell them as is, you can edit them as long as you have an active subscription. Why not lock in 55% off? I will drop that link in the description as well. As long as, or addition, in addition to, I'll drop a link to where I made a page with all of my favorite Black Friday deals. Okay, all in one page. So I'll drop that in the description too in case you wanna check that out. But like Vexels right now is a great deal, 55%. Plus they're gonna refund at least one of you guys. Um, there's like a little wheel you can spin, you get prizes. I know you get a full refund, so you might end up getting it for free. Um, so that's worth checking out guys. But frogs, animals, interests, hobbies. You've already heard me say it a bunch. I'm gonna say it one last time. That's the theme for today's episode. How about we don't for just like a week? How about till next week at least? Let's not sell Christmas stuff, right? Let's not sell something with an element of Christmas in it because again, every time you include that word in a listing, the algorithm says, oh, it's this word. 
that also is associated with 10 million other products, right? Geared toward this, this time of year, right? Like, oh, you put the word Christmas in? Okay, now it's it's you and it's 10 million other products. How about we avoid Christmas for a second and sell products that will still see an increased interest for Christmas gift giving season, but the algorithm won't see the word Christmas in your listing. Therefore, you're not competing on that incredibly competitive keyword that may confuse the algorithm because it's you and 10 million others, okay? All right, seller trends. These are products that have seen a big jump in BSR recently, could be indicative of trends to come. Careful with them, by the way, it doesn't mean that they're safe to sell, so I just always like to drop a screenshot in case you guys see anything specifically. Um, I know that these specifically right here, I'm pointing to it, naughty, nice, uh, innocent till proven guilty. A lot of those um, are selling really well with just funny ways to spin that third checkbox. Um, the Taylor shirt, I would stay away from. I think that's like Taylor Swift fans buying the shirt, so I wouldn't do that. Um, Christmas shirts, you see uh, the first slot right there says Holly Jolly Teacher. Um, I love that because you can scale out that design as a template. Also, it's using that same font that's been selling so well this year. Looking ahead, if you want to sell in niches related to specific dates but less obvious holidays, how about December 27th? All right, these are a month out. National Fruitcake Day, December 28th, Card Playing Day, December 29th, Pepper Pot Day. What in the world is Pepper Pot Day? <laughs> December 30th. All right, I know what that is. That's Bacon Day. Um, yes, please. Uh, December 31st, New Year's Eve. All right, New Year's Eve. Don't forget about that. Everybody's thinking about Christmas. What about New Year's Eve? Show New Year's Eve some love with your designs. And my bonus design today, uh, I really like this design. Um, in addition to that bourbon design that I said I liked earlier with the definition as a template, but I like this. Just shout out to all the PC computer gamers. All right, WASD, what moves me? It's like everybody knows gaming shirts sell really well, but what about like PC gamers? What about computer gamers, right? People that aren't on the consoles using the controllers. How about the people that use keyboards like I do? Uh, WASD, I just think it's like it's like a, a sub-niche of gaming that maybe gets overlooked. People aren't getting rich in this niche, uh, specifically like this shirt, you know, for computer gamers, but at the same time, they're making regular sales. And this is the type of shirt that I would think is hilarious because I've been a computer gamer my entire life. Uh, I haven't really played console games since uh, Nintendo 64, but shout out to Mario Kart 64. Had to do that. All right, deleted designs. Here we go. Uh, am I seeing anything consistent? Lots of let's go Brandon again. So back-to-back -back weeks there. The Brandon shirts, they are really coming after them. Uh, never trust the living. I don't know what that is, but you know, I guess that maybe is something that recently got trademarked. All right. All right, and that's it for this video, guys. By the way, my print-on-demand course between Black Friday, Cyber Monday, it is still... 20% off. That's my max discount. So if you're interested in learning my exact approach to making six figure plus sales every single year, print on demand, check that out. I will link it with the discount in the description. Guys, thanks for watching this video. Please like, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the next one.